I can see clearly now Chantal's going home. There we go. Look at her. And she's gone. Oh my goodness. Back to the land of maple syrup and Mounties. Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Gaining Grounds. Before I begin this video, just a reminder, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do so by clicking on the subscribe line down below and do not forget to like this video, like it now, like it during, like it at the end of the video. I do not care when you like the video as long as you do it before you leave. Our girl, Chantal AK Foodie Beauty, uploaded a video called Flying Red Eye International Flight from Kuwait to Canada Travel Vlog. So for those of you who don't know, which is probably none of you, but I'm going to recap it anyway, our girl was missing for like seven days. Some people were sweating bullets, wondering how bills were going to get paid, will the utilities were going to stay on, how many retroreacts were they going to have to pump out. It was a lot. It was a very traumatic experience here in Girl World. But she came back. She came back, she went live, and boom, she was clearly in Canada. So everybody was just like, oh my God, she's in Canada. So she confirmed she got a strike. She couldn't post for seven days. So I don't know if she already had this trip planned or she got a strike and said, F it, I'm going back to Canada. But honestly, I don't care. I'm here for the pre-recorded content. I cannot watch her hours and hours and hours worth of live streams. I have things to do. I cannot be bothered. But a nice short video like this one, I am all about. Plus, I love a good travel vlog. I hope there's food. I hope there's compression socks. I hope she took a couple laps up and down the plane aisle because that is a long time to be sitting on a plane i'm guessing 9 10 11 hours from kuwait city to montreal i'm making that up i don't know if that's true but either way it's it's dangerous for a normal sized person to be sitting that long on a plane somebody of her size hopefully she took the proper precautions maybe she'll tell us all about it maybe she won't but either way i am here for it so come along with me it is the return of chantal aka foodie beauty she is back in canada we're going to watch the journey to canada and then we're going to start praying that she does some fun story times again because I just can't deal with all the damn lives. <laughs> Let's go. I love that the old intro is here. Maybe it's been here for a while. I just haven't been watching, but this is the first time I've reacted to something from hers in a long time. And to see this intro brings back so many warm and fuzzy feelings to my little heart. I could cry. I'm not going to, but I could. Hello, foodie beauties. Ooh. Hey there, beezers. Want a personalized hey, video to you that you can keep forever? Or maybe and no, I'm not fast forwarding her cameo commercial because if I'm going to use her content uh, as a to do a reaction, the least I could do is advertise her cameo. Plus, her cameo was her cameo to me was cute. If you don't know, um, my moderators pulled together and got me a birthday gift and a couple of my moderators, and it was a cameo from Chantal. I loved it. If you want to see it, uh, look at my channel on the live streams for a stream from December eighth. I think I called it forty three to success because it was December eighth, twenty twenty three. Hashtag forty three to success. And I opened up the uh, the cameo and I watched it for the first time on that stream. So if you haven't seen it, go to that stream and go watch it. I'll, I'll try to remember to link it up above. Will I? I don't know, but I'm going to try to remember. But if I forget, just go find it under the live section and search for um, success. Probably it'll come up that way. Be a special shout out. Or maybe you just have a pressing question for me you want answered. All you have to do is request a personalized video or direct message from me on Cameo. It's super easy. Super Cameos easy. also make great birthday or special occasion gifts. Hope to hear from you. Would a divorce be considered a special occasion? Wouldn't that be amazing if you want to get a divorce and you're too afraid to tell your spouse so you just pay Chantal to do it for you? Could you imagine? Hello, Beezers. <laughs> Beauty bite. Your wife hates you and wants to leave you. Or if she has to like read the message. Hello, uh, Johnny. I have a prepared statement from your husband. <laughs> Dear Johnny, I don't want to be married to you anymore. Then she ends it with Beauty bite. Bye. I think that would be a, a great way to deliver such a crushing blow. Yeah. Hello, welcome back to a mixed oh. bag vlog. This is nothing to do with travel during the vlog, but oh, I forgot to mind. add this during my last Ramadan vlog. Uh, so we... look at all that. Uh, is that all? So is this like a place where you can go to and pick the fabric you want, and they'll make you a hijab? I'm assuming those aren't prepared hijabs along the wall. They must be. It looks like it looks like t-shirts, but I'm assuming it's uh, ro not rolled up, folded up fabrics, and you must be able to be like, oh, I like that color. That color. I wonder how how liberal can you get with hijabs? Can you get like real? liberal with them and the reason why i ask this is not a hijab story but i was watching soft white underbelly and there was a an amish uh woman former amish but still amish but whatever um and she was wearing a bright i don't know i don't know i'm gonna call it a frock but i don't i forget the name of what they use and it's not a bonnet i forgot what she called them. anyways she was very colorful and she adopted all adapted all of that after she left her um her sects, I guess you call them. She was, or organizations, I don't know what they call them. Anyways, um, so, but she made it very clear that she would never be accepted in her five previous Amish communities wearing such colorful clothing. Um, 
the the stockings though were apparently Amish grade. They were black stockings. Everything else would have been even the stitching. Even the stitching, she said, would be a problem. It was wild. If you haven't seen it, go watch that software underbelly video. Anyway, uh, what was I asking? Oh, I wonder how liberal can how liberal can you be with hijabs? Like, do you have to stick with black? Because I do see all these different colors there. But I've only ever seen her wear a black one, right? Or am I making that up? Where we went out for iftar, so th now that I've watched her that much, so I mean, my li I should say my limited exposure to her, she's always had black hijabs on. This was supposed to be in that. This is. Just I know, Gigi. Shut up. We're never gonna get to the damn airplane. It's me picking out some hijabs. My my new. Oh, she's picking out a blue one. Okay, so I guess you can do multicolor. But how wild can you go? Like, if I wanted like a bright red, like a dirty whore red one, probably not, right? I call bright red dirty whore red. It's my favorite color. Well, blue is my favorite color. Uh, like a a, a, a vibrant navy blue i love blues um my second favorite color is dirty whore red like can you have a dirty whore red one probably not new navy blue one that you saw in my recent video so yeah that's what i got well no maybe it's not navy not navy i like what's a color like sky blue you know that just like beautiful not navy i don't know why i said it, that beautiful when, when the sky is just perfect outside that's my favorite blue i don't know which sky blue it's probably called sky blue isn't it gg you're so stupid go on I love getting a new hijab. As you can see, my black one here is very worn out and it was time for a different color, for sure. Oh, so they are already made. Oh, wow, so those are all... I mean, do you have to make a hijab or is it just one... Maybe that's where I'm going wrong. I'm thinking a hijab's already a preformed garment. Is a hijab just a lining of fabric that you just fold around your head? Maybe that's maybe that's where I'm going wrong. So I got a couple undercaps and a hijab. Well, it's that time again. Oh, look at it. She's got a cute little fan. Is that for the plane? That's a good idea because let me tell you something. I hate to bring up the word Hawaii. It triggers a lot of people. But when I went to Hawaii, my Los Angeles to Honolulu flight, it was so hot. I don't know if the AC wasn't working. There was two problems in that plane. <laughs> it was super hot. And the only thing playing on the TV screens were the same episode of The Office over and over again. Like I had my iPad, thank you Jesus, and I was able to watch stuff on that. But the lady behind me was like, excuse me, excuse me, and the attendant comes over. She's like, and no matter what I select, it's an episode of The Office. And the flight attendant was like, yeah, I'm really sorry. We're having technical difficulties, but where did I go with that? Oh, my iPad saved the day in that situation, but I would have loved that little fan for the temperature issues. Time to pack the CPAP and the fan. And head on to the airport. Oh, the CPAP. All right, oh, guys, CPAP this is bag. my fit for the airport. Look um, at her go, and they're going to yell. They're going to be like, she's overly filtered. We're all overly filtered in photos. Stop it. Let the woman have her damn filters. Look at that photo back there they're behind a tiger. That is, that frame, no offense, Chantal, that frame, frame screams 80s gaudy. I used to have great aunts and uncles. <laughs> Who you'd walk into that. They were the types of great aunts and uncles who had plastic on their furniture. And all of their frames had that gold, shiny uh, frame on it. Chantal, I'm making you an honorary 1986 Portuguese person. You're welcome. Um, have my backpack on. My new glasses. I love those glasses. Um, They're very cute. If I wore glasses, I don't want some. I'd, I'd totally rock some feminine glasses. Who cares? It's a lot taking me to the airport now. I'm going and to I want to say, oh, she looks so good here. And I'm going to get yelled at in the comments. It's all filters, Gigi. I don't care. The filters look nice. Be flying a red-eye flight to no. Frankfurt, Germany. My flight leaves at 1.45 oh. a.m. to Frankfurt and then Frankfurt to um, Montreal. So, yes. Yep. Oh, I thought she was going from Kuwait City all the way to Montreal. She's not. She's stopping in the, in the Frankfurts. Ooh, a hot dog sounds good, doesn't it? Bella, let's head out. One foot, that's too much. As we were approaching the departure section of the Kuwait airport, my anxiety started to get higher and higher. Why? And higher. All right. You're like a professional traveler at this point. What the hell are we anxious for? I mean, I hate to fly. I will do it because it must be done, but I will hate, I hate to fly. I'm about to go to the check-in counter. There's my luggage. See you, Yellow. I need new luggage. Shit, that reminded me. I really need new luggage. My last trip that I took, I had to fly a month and a half ago. And my luggage is so banged up and it's so boring. It's a big black suitcase and it blends in. I gotta get some like luggage that screams, this is me, like the greatest showman, so people will know it's mine. Great. I think it's interesting they throw New York up there and she's going back to the North America. I love it. Okay, was there, oh, where's Colombo? Colombo, Doha, Abu Dhabi, Chennai, Delhi, Cairo. I know Delhi's in India. Cairo's in Egypt. Asuit, Ahmedabad, Salkan. I'm ruining this. Istanbul, Turkey. I know that one. Frankfurt, Germany. Damascus. Is that also? Oh my God, is that Turkey? No, where's Damascus? Syria? Syria? Is Damascus? Damn it. <laughs> hey, Alexa, where's Damascus? 
Damascus is a city in Damascus governorate in the southwestern part of Syria. Oh, I was right. Syria. Okay, Alexa. I got, yes, it did. Thank you so much. You've been a pleasure. Um, I totally got that right. Chennai and Istanbul. Love it. 826. Also, oh, she was... You're welcome. So she was flying... Uh, was this last Friday? Yeah. No, wait. Last Sunday. Sunday was third day Sunday. I love those things, but am I the only one who gets nervous stepping on and stepping off of them? I don't know why. You literally just have to step on and step off. But every time I'm getting ready to get off of one, I have to mentally prepare myself to take that step. I don't know why. That's a beautiful airport. I can see clearly now what happened. I can see clearly now Chantal's going home. <laughs> Although I guess she's not going home. I don't even know what home is anymore for this woman. Ooh, caribou. We have that, don't we? Caribou coffee. <laughs> Look at Salah giggling. I find that giggle cute. But I guarantee you that giggle has already turned into a conspiracy. Do you hear him giggling? He's giggling because he knows his next girlfriend's waiting for him three blocks away. Like, that's that's what I guarantee you. That giggle represented to everybody. But to me, I found it to everyone else. But to me, I found it to be a very endearing little giggle. So since this time I'm flying with Lufthansa Airlines, we made it over to the... Oh, I heard Lufthansa's really nice. Lufthansa counter, so I could check in. I am flying economy, regular economy, as per usual, for this flight. Check-in was rather uneventful and pretty normal. It went smoothly. There's nobody and there, wow. to my love for only God knows how long and make my way through this zigzaggy thing. I hate time to go through security. Oh, those zigzags. I made it through security and... Uh, I'm a little dizzy adjusting to my glasses, but I'm gonna get a water. I'm so thirsty. Good duty free place here where you have to show your passport to get a water. Look at more tang. You have to show your passport to get a water. Can somebody explain? I have not flown internationally since I was like three. I hope to either this year or next year. I'm coming for United Kingdom. I hope anyway. Um, why can't you why can't you buy stuff without like once you're already past security, what's the big deal? Someone explain to me in the comments. I'm not gonna Google it because I don't care enough. Tang. All right. Let's go get a eight dollar water. What is that? Needos? Look at these cool tins. Oh, look at that. Oh my god, you know what I saw on TV yesterday or on the Twitters probably? Oh my god, somebody opened a container of Oreos. They took over they took the foil lid off top and they took the plastic piece out. So you just have the three rolls of Oreos. They poured the milk into each row. So each Oreo cookie was sitting in a little river of milk. Now I think that's a great idea. My only concern is, would the over milk saturation make the cookie then too soft where you can't even take a bite out of it? I don't know, but that is a risk I'd be willing to take. Oh, there's the water. I don't like Oreos unless they have to be with milk. Like I'll never just eat an Oreo because I don't understand them. They're dry, they're too crunchy, but with a, you dip them in milk first and you get them soft enough to just oh, disintegrate in your mouth. It's delicious. Oh God, I'm hungry. Oh, that's cool. Why am I sliding off this chair? Oh, what is that? Cigarettes? I really want a gummy bear. 16 bucks. $16? So we got Voss, which we have... I think we have Eve Ava. No, I don't know if we have that. Do we? Or oh, is that Evian? Oh, Evian's down below on the bottom left. I don't know what that Ava is. The logo kind of sounds familiar. Do we have Ava under a different name? So thirsty. I'm going to get a couple of these bad boys. This just is really cool here at the Kuwait airport. Wait, what is that? I miss what she said. Shh. This display is really cool here at the Kuwait airport. What is it though? Is it just like the skyline of Kuwait City? I guess. What does it mean? Kuwait martyrs? What does that mean? Oh wait. Oh, ma I just said martyrs. Mati- Mati- I don't know what that means. So I'm at gate 26. Let's go. Let's go. We're going home. Well, we're going somewhere. Is it home? I don't know. We're going somewhere. I always buy a ton of drinks. It's a vit hit. I know vitamin. At airports more than anything because of all the walking, it gets hot and I get very thirsty. So I try to get something with vitamins and low sugar. Look at her. Look at her. Our vitamin, our vitamin plentiful queen. Our vitamin enriched lady friend queen. Oh, we're leaving. We're taking off. I got to see these accommodations. Look at that. They're replacing the flight attendants with AI generated passengers before. The flight attendants would come up on the video and they'd come out with the belt. They'd tell you a little story, sing a little song, do a little dance. Now we got AI. Did you guys ever watch Soul Plane? <laughs> with Snoop Dogg and uh, Kevin. Uh, oh, God. Kev not Kevin James. I can't, Kevin Hart. Is that his name? I can't think of his name. I love 
that movie so much and it's so played <laughs> they do um the pre-recorded uh, flight safety video but the flight attendants uh sing and dance to it to the uh, tune of survivor by destiny's child cracks me up every time that's dark it's late Will there be snacks served? There we go. Look at her. And she's gone. Oh my goodness. Back to the land of maple syrup. And Mounties. Do you think she loves it there? Man, the screens are oh, so... Oh, we're watching the, um, the, the Wonkas. Is that the and Wonka? the entertainment system is of poor quality on Lufthansa. So I decided to try and watch Wonka, but I don't like musicals and I don't like Timothy Chalamet. Nope. How dare you? I'm okay with the don't like Timothy Chalamet part, but how dare you not like musicals? I just remember, I just realized, guys, I didn't put my, invis my invisibility cloak on my chair, so now you're not even getting the full Canadian experience behind me. I feel like I should just shut this whole video down and start over. I'm not going to, but I feel like I should. They also gave us some dusty um, dates <laughs> and to swap. Dusty dates. Although that downed a bottle of water, but it was pretty warm actually. They also don't have individual air vents. I was so hot and uncomfortable, like the whole flight. They it's a good thing she brought that fan. I had to change seats. Oh, she didn't tell me. Uh, Chantal, this is your reminder. Why did you have to change seats? Did you offend a passenger? Do you think she farted? Huh. Served a cold vegetarian sandwich, they called it. Has oh, it's cold. Cheese and peppers and things. Gross. Something about this evil sandwich gave me the worst indigestion oh i can name a couple things looks terrible it was so uncomfortable it was so bad i like when planes terrible. have these little individual cup holders most do but... i have never been on a plane that is a cup holder like that I, the only place i've been on have the trees that have the little indentation for cups that's what we need some airlines I've been somebody get the um united states organization of airplane designers on the phone uh we need we need those on our planes here domestic flights i don't actually so i love watching the flight map i like seeing where around the world i'm going to it's just a really cool concept for me that's so cool. Let's say, say what you want about this woman. This woman's traveling all around the world. That's why I laugh when I see like shut-ins, people with no lives who only literally leave their houses to go out to eat and then come home and sit on their sit on their floors in their uh, cat pajamas to cry. To see them making fun of her, I'm like, this woman is literally traveling the world, living her best life, and we're supposed to like take you seriously when the furthest you've gone is three miles away to the buffet. I can't do it. I'm sorry, I can't. I can't take Lufthansa you seriously. Lufthansa handed out these complimentary chocolates near the end of our journey. Delicious. So, yeah. Yum. Overall, flying with Lufthansa. Look at that person. That person's watching the map too. Wasn't the best experience, but it wasn't the worst. Those seats look awfully cramped. Like Southwest Airlines, if you've been on Southwest, I feel like there's more room in a Southwest Airlines flight, and that says a lot. So, it was alright. She must have been miserable. No offense, Chantal. But that guy right there, he don't even look that big. And his knees, he looks like he's about to eat his kneecaps. I'm assuming that's a guy. I shouldn't assume his gender because, you know, whatever. But whoever that person is right in the middle of the screen, it looks like he's about to lick his kneecaps. Wakey, wakey, time to land. This is why they call it Red Eye, as you can see. Uh, I hate the transfer to terminal buses. They're always packed and they're always hot. All right, I got a seat on the bus and... No one else needed one because I usually give them to elderly. But look how big the plane looks. Oh my god. I like how she does that because I usually give them to the elderly. Okay. She's trying to go viral with her acts of kindness. I see you. Gosh. And we are at the Frankfurt. Who are the, whose ass am I looking at? Do we know whose ass this is? Does, did this person give their ass permission to be on your vi in your video? Port. I'm going to make my way to security. And, and why is her pants look like his or her pants look like that? <laughs> it looks like that whoever that is, their ass is trying to eat their trousers. My gate. I'm just literally so spent and exhausted at this point, seriously. Yeah, so there's this, like, attraction at the Frankfurt Airport where you can sit and take a picture beside this um, Albert Einstein statue. I didn't bother. Oh, I thought that was a person! Going, but that's cool. That's cool. So I had to do a lot I of thought that was a real person sitting there. I was like, what's the attraction? The old guy? Walking and everything, but my gate B required that I take this little bus. Okay. So I'm waiting for the bus. Love it. It is not allowed to take that Finally made it to my gate for air. Vio still water and Natu healthy all the way water berry lime. Oh, are those act chunks? Oh my, is that, do they actually put chunks of fruit in there or is that part of the packaging? I don't know if I would trust that. Chunks, what is that? It's got to be like, because you can't put fresh fruit. I guess you could with enough preservatives, but no, no thank you. If I'm going to eat fruit, I prefer my fruit fresh or freeze dried. Not sitting in a uh, container full of water, sitting on a shelf for God knows how long. 
for Air Canada, going to Montreal. Ma'am, you better, uh, you, uh, Chantal, you better charge your fan. It's only at 33%. My fan, I got some more drinks, my puffer for my asthma. This is a sugar-free, fruit and mint infused drink. It was pretty good. Actually. I don't understand how it could be sugar-free. I hate that. Sugar-free. It's a sugar-free fruit drink. Fruit has sugar. How could it be sugar-free, especially this fruit floater? You know what else I'll never understand? I've said this before and I'm going to say it again. Sugar-free pudding. You cannot make pudding without milk. And if you pick up sugar-free pudding and you look at the ingredients, milk is an ingredient. So how the hell could there be no sugar? Because even in skim... So the fattier the milk, the less sugar. But all levels of milk have sugar in them. Skim milk has the most sugar because when you take away fat from a product, people at when I should say you because we're not micronutritional biologists, whatever they're called. But when companies take away fat from a product, they pump it up with sugar to replace the flavor. But even if you make it with whole milk, there is sugar in whole milk. So somebody get Jello on the line and get them to explain to me how pudding made with milk could be Jello, could be sugar free, and how the hell Nat 2 with berry lime mint floating inside of it, which I'm assuming it is because that looks too in-depth to be a label. How the hell that could be sugar-free because fruit has sugar in it. Somebody make this make sense, please. <sighs> I'm stressed out by this video. Actually, I'm refreshing. Gloomy early morning in Germany today. And here comes the plane I'll be on soon. Air Canada. Canada. Flying Air Canada, I think for the first time. God, I don't know how people land and, 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 and take I don't, pilots god bless them to take a plane off to land it so precisely on a runway I don't know how they do it but I'm looking at this plane come up and he's even lined up with the yellow markings on the ground like pilots need to be paid way more than they're paid other than being young for, in my adult life at least and I'm wearing compression socks to try to okay. reduce the swelling and risk of blood clots they're just black they blend with my pants and shoes you need them All love that 38k on Air Canada Airbus A330 to Montreal <laughs> the screens are already huger and the leg room did she say they're huger? Chantal, aka Foodie Beauty, bigger. The screens are bigger, not huger. And the gut room is so much better. That cute little Canadian maple leaf just at the end of the wing. So cute. Coming home or whatever the fuck she's going in style. Oh, I hear a child screaming. Nope, give me a parachute. Mm -mm. Eight hours later. Oh, MG, I'm finally here. Okay, having a cranberry juice. I'm starving. Like, a chicken sandwich. No, it's not halal, but they don't have halal food where I am. So sometimes I'm not gonna eat halal. Sandwich, poulet, chicken. So poulet's chicken in French, right? It must be like pollo, pollo in Spanish, poulet in French. <laughs> and sour cream and onion chips because I. Why? Why? Been missing these. Chantal. Shit out of carrot stick. People are gonna be looking at me weird, but whatever. But at the end of the day, it's your life. Do what you want. Talking to myself. Talking to myself. Cough. All this traveling's making my throat dry. My favorite juice, cranberry. Oof. It is good for the UTIs though, the urinary tracts. But oof, I don't like cranberry juice. Gross. like right near a bunch of bus stops. So. If I had to choose between going hungry a little longer or eating a prepackaged sandwich in a gas station container, I feel like I would just choose to go hungry a little longer. Like I'd probably eat those chips because you know, let's face it, I'm a fatty and most of you probably would have eaten it too, don't lie. But I just, I'm not a sandwich person as it is unless it's like a hoagie, like a Jersey Mike sub. I'm just not, a, I'm not somebody who takes two slices of bread and puts shit in between them. It's not for me. So if I'm going to sit down and eat something like that, it's going to be at a nice restaurant or like a, just at a restaurant, not a nice, or, you know, like a chili, just a restaurant in general, pre-packaged meals like that freak me out. But if it was like a BLT at a deli between two slices of bread. Oh yeah, I would have seen, I would have held off and waited for the BLT at the deli. So, well the bread is so fresh, it's like moist. No, I don't, yeah, it's because it's probably wet. You know how I feel about that wet pigeon bread. It's probably wet from sitting in that container and sweating on itself. Ugh. Bismillah. Yeah. Gross. We could put more mayo or something. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. More preservatives, more sodium. I'm taking this express bus from, um, Montreal Airport. Go get my car. Where's the bus? está el autobús? I just realized her um, her hijab is like a purple, um, like a uh, it reminds me of a velvet. Looks like a velvet, doesn't it? Hey, that's beautiful. What is it? Velvet? Do you know what that's from? Comment down below. 
At least I think I got it right. Hey, that's beautiful. What is it, Velvet? Guy who was sitting beside me on the plane. He kept spilling wine all over me. Oh I'm no. So I was so over. I'm so over people. I'm so over traveling. I don't want to just complain because. How do you spill wine on somebody in the seat next to you? Like, what are you doing? You know, alhamdulillah, I made it. But... What are you doing with yourself? The amount of walking I did so my feet are like so sore. Those sketchers are not cutting it. Shh. I, I said shh. Need better sketchers. I'm freezing. Waiting for my. Oh my god, I think I have that fleece blanket. Us. No, mine looks a little different. Chicken sandwich on my teeth. <laughs> I look so old. I am 40 now. Busy street. I ordered oh my god, I saw some people on Twitter posting comments about everybody getting mad at her for saying 40 is not old. I mean, they, 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 they wait for any reason to bitch about this woman. I don't know how these people survive on a daily day basis with jobs and, and human interaction. But oh my god, like everybody says that I'm turning 40, I'm so old. Like... She said it and she giggled, but some people took it so seriously. And of course, they had to post photos of themselves. <gasps> look at me. Do I look old? And I'm 40. Somebody show this to Chantel. I'm 40. And I'm a more hotter than 90%. More hotter, I turned into Chantel. I'm more attractive than 90% of you. It's like, oh my God. These people who are in these imaginary races with Chantal, these imaginary competitions are fucking weird. And anybody who says it's not, are probably in their own competition with her. Like, please, go outside. I ordered my taxi to go get my car. I don't know where I am. The bus dropped me off somewhere, I guess. I don't know. I forget. <laughs> I ordered the bus ticket, but I don't know where I am. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, adventure doesn't end until I'm in the Kia again. Oh, the Kia. Tomorrow I'm going to clean it out. I have to get it fixed. It needs a little bit of repairs. Anyways. Well, you know you're in Canada when there's a... Swiss chalet. Swiss chalet at almost every corner. <laughs> it's fully leased. Where the hell are we stopping? Harvey's. Hi, can I have a number? Um... Where, where was it? Number three? Number three is an original with cheese, Chantal. You should have gotten a, uh, where's the salad section? They don't have, what the hell's Harvey's anyway? Do they don't have salads at Harvey's? Oh no, there's really not many options here. Uh, donuts, who the hell wants a donut? At a, at a fast food place, they have no salads. Sorry, I'm scanning the menu. I see no salads, shit. With cheese? Yeah, with. I mean, I guess I should be happy she didn't get the quarter pound Angus. So <laughs> win, I don't know. Yes, please, with onion rings and a Pepsi. No! Pepsi, sorry. Okay, I'm giving her a win. At least she went with Diet Pepsi. <laughs> uh, no, actually, just ketchup, mustard, and... Apple pie and cinnamon sugar. Do oh, those are the desserts. The do got it, got it. Relish, please. Ketchup, mustard, relish? Yes. That's it? That's it. I got the bag. Seriously, though, if you've never had Harvey's, it's a Canadian chain. Sorry, the glass gummy. Um, they, have the, they have the best, and I'm starving. Those onion rings look puny, and they need a steroids. Look ravenous. So to clarify for halal, because you're probably wondering, why aren't you Muslim, aren't you going to eat halal? Rightfully so. I'm going to try to, where I can, like if I go grocery shopping for meat and stuff. But sometimes, like, I'm not going to worry about it as long as I'm not eating pork. So sometimes it's hard to find halal fast food here. I don't think you can at all. There's like one place. And again, are people really upset about that too. And I'm like, again, why do we care? Um, it's between her and I don't, people out here acting like they're God or Allah or Buddha or any other religious figure is really just fascinating to me, especially because some of those people are the worst of the worst people that I've ever come across in my life. But they really scrutinize every choice that someone makes. If she's not following halal, who cares? Who cares? <laughs> like, do your own religion, do make your own uh, uh, um, promises to whatever you believe in and follow your own rules. Like, she do it. does her not doing halal affect you or I in any bit? The answer is no. And if you're saying yes, you're obsessed and need Jesus. <laughs> Central Bergham, I think. <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> you believe it. Anyway. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Bye. I'm going to go down the long road now. Are we done already? Oh my god, we're almost done. Right. This went by so quick. Oh, we're on a road. We're about to merge onto the long road. Oh, it looks cold. So for any newcomers, the long road is a road in Ottawa, Ontario. It's kind of my depression road or my mental health road. Oh, is that the road? That Chantal, if you happen to watch this, can you comment down below? Is that the road that takes you all the way to Windsor? It's just like serene and calming and I always drive down here. When just I... comment down below. Who cares? I'll, I'll protect you. Is it the road that goes to... Because I used to... I, I had family in Windsor many, 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 many decades ago. And we would drive up through Vermont. And, was it through Vermont or New York? I don't remember. And we'd go through Canada. I think we'd enter through Niagara Falls. And then we'd have to go left at some point. And there was this long road that just went left, 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 left. And it spelled like cow poop and 
cow manures and the cow sweat it was a lot and then at the end of it you got to windsor and after windsor is detroit so windsor actually um, has a bridge between Tr detroit usa detroit uh illinois um and then um i mean detroit illinois oh my god detroit michigan jesus i just had a i just had a moment detroit michigan and windsor canada are connected by a uh, by a bridge the borders of bridge it's really cool what the hell am i talking about i don't even know Oh, is this to say Road Shot Talk? Comment down below. Detroit, Illinois. How embarrassing. Oh, I should just shut it all down now. When I just need to clear my head and give myself a little bit of nostalgia. Or I was thinking Chicago for a second. I don't know why. Or just to really think. So here's some food I've eaten so far being in Canada. I would be lying if I said what that food that? wasn't a huge part of it, unfortunately. But um, broccoli. And this is why I don't care about this, what the shit she eats. I mean, yeah, I want her to get healthy, but at least she's fucking honest about it. She's not sitting here pretending to pass in judgment on everybody, pretending like that, you know, they're, they're svelte figures, uh, but not showing anybody their bodies or getting on scales to prove their weights. At least she owns it. It's a stupid own. D don't get me wrong. <laughs> it's a stupid own. I personally want to live. I want to be as healthy. You know, I'm taking steps. I've been taking Taking steps for years to get to that point so i don't know why she continues to devalue herself but at the end of the day she's devaluing herself not me so it is what it is the cream of broccoli soup and here is and that looks disgusting poutine gives me such anxiety because it looks like chunks of curdled cheese sprinkled on top of fries and i just i can't do it i can't i don't know I, maybe if it was like like i love a loaded fry right when it's melted cheese but i think it's because it's chunky like that it just can't do it visually it's a texture thing it just gives me anxiety and you know that corn is hot too we've talked about this i love cold corn i could eat corn out of a can i don't buy corn because corn is not that great for you it's it's a carb it's a lot of sugar which is why it's so delicious but i like cold corn so i already know that corn is hot those fries look terrible and that thing she's eating is drenched in some kind of glop that's turning my stomach more than ozempic does a hot chicken I had, which is chicken between two slices of white bread with a bunch of gravy. Hot chicken? Where's the... Oh my god, is the... Oh my god, is the bread covered in gravy? And of course, Canadian staple. Hold on, do they cover the bread in gravy? That means the bread's all wet and soaked. Oh god. Is put in. Yum. Oh all right, no. guys, enjoy some Canadian early... Question, what was the name of that chicken dish? Is, 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 is that what I'm looking at? Was it a sandwich and the bread's covered in gravy? It's nature. As I say goodbye why to would you, Why you would anybody do that? Life. What's wrong with Canada? And sharing this slice of my life. What's wrong uh, with Canada? Time. Bye, guys. What's wrong with Canada? <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. Comment down below if that's what that was. Okay. I loved it. I thought it was quality content. Say what you want about Chantal like a foodie beauty. The girl just flew from Kuwait City to Frankfurt, Germany to Montreal, Canada. Vlogged it all and her biggest critics literally do nothing and go nowhere. So I'm sorry I'm giving Chantal like a foodie beauty a win for this. Uh, I enjoyed it. I hope there's more content. Like I want more story times. But I know that's going to lead to not good mukbangs. And I don't want to encourage her and, and reward her for eating shitty food. So I'm still hoping that she finds a way to eat a chicken breast and a nice salad with olive with oil and vinegar dressing and tells me about some kind of maybe something she witnessed in kuwait that was in a, something to keep me excited something titillating sizzling uh, fascinating i just i need a story time but i hate the live streams this is what i've been waiting for and i know she's uploaded a couple here and there Gigi, you haven't been watching i've been busy in case you haven't noticed i got shit going on i've been busy but a free things are a little freed up now for me um march was a very hard month for me april's April's uh, uh, shaping up to be a good month, so I'm hoping we get some good content. I'm glad she made it through. I'm glad she wore compression socks. Uh, I'm glad she didn't get any uh, clots or deep vein thrombroses. Um, I wish she had chosen better food for her journey. I know she was like, I can't get halal food here. I don't know if that's true or not, but what, I'm sure she could have gotten a salad and a chicken or something healthier in the airport. Airports have... Um, Lots of different options of food. She could have made something healthy, but she needed to have that shitty sandwich that's prepackaged sitting there. From the ruffles, I'm giving her a win for those. She shouldn't have eaten those, but God, a sour cream and an onions ruffle chip sounds so good right now. And yeah, she's back in Canada. I know she's been doing coffee beezes. I wish I had the energy to sit here and just just sit here for hours and hours like some people do and just stare at her live streams and pretend it's content. I just can't do it. I'm sorry, but we'll see what she uploads next. I'll keep an eye on her channel. I'm still subscribed. I'm always going to be subscribed. We love her some shots. I like a booty beauty, and we'll see what she does next. And if if it's a pre-recorded video and it looks interesting, I will definitely react to it. But that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do so by clicking the subscribe button down below. Click the bell next to it to be alerted every time I upload new content. Go ahead and, get, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Giving my videos a thumbs up. Would you like my videos? Would you like my videos? Would you like my channel? Would you like my channel? 
my channel grows. And feel free to share this video as a social media. I also have a Discord link down below. Feel free to join us there. I'm not active there. Uh, I don't know if anybody really is, but it's a great way to be notified every time I upload a video because I don't always... Um, YouTube doesn't always hand out notifications, I hear, but Discord always does. So I've got a little bot. It's, I got bots. I got really good moderators who set up bots. So when I upload or go live, bots go out. You all get notified so you don't have to rely on YouTube. So if you're missing notifications from me, go join the Discord. You can mute all the channels except for the one that has my uploads on it. And then it'll be a, another way for you to get notifications. I guess that's it. As always, thanks for subscribing. Thank you for liking. And most of all, thank you for watching. Have you liked it? Make sure you like it. And as always, until next time.